Right, hello again folks. Uh, I'm going to film some photographs I took of some motor racing. Um, so Triple Print is who printed them. Triple Print, and these are from 1992. Formula Ford 1600 Silverstone 92. So I believe if you look at my previous video I've uploaded of the F3 race, this was the support race. Formula Ford 1600. And as you can see, some of the cars were sponsored by Marlboro. I do remember. And there were some sponsored by Pirelli Construction. So these are taken from, I was at Cops Corner, I believe it was about May of 1992, that could be wrong. It was somewhere, it was either between May and August I would say, but I've got a feeling it was about May, so anyway, I'll just go through these. They're not, these were taken on a 35mm camera, um, wasn't an expensive camera, it was probably only about a 30 pounds camera if that, it was nothing special and as you can see, pictures I've got are not amazing at all but um, I'm just deciding to because we're in lockdown and you can't go out and film stuff I'm gonna make videos of stuff I've already got basically so there you go that's definitely Marlboro sponsored that particular car red car there with a bit of orange don't know don't know who that is anyway if you want to know who these are Look up the British Formula Ford 1600 Championship of 1992 and you'll be able to get a list of who took part in that year and then work out who some of these drivers are. So again, all of these seem to be taken from Cops Corner. I'm not going to spend ages showing you them. Whitish top to that car. And these are, as I said, Formula Ford 1600. So Ford 1600, was it the Kent engines back then I believe? So Ford engines, even back then, 1992, to do a season of Formula Ford in a top team was something like um, £90,000, I believe I was told. £90,000, £100,000 some of the top teams were spending to, to race one car in about 16 races in the championship. And that was the top people. Obviously, you know, if you had less money, you could race, but you'd be racing at the back of the grid in using an older chassis and not having as many engine rebuilds per year. So yellowish car. Unfortunately, you can see blurred. Uh, another yellow car. Yellow and red. Blurry. And again, I'm guessing it was... I remember it was a stinking hot day. Marlborough sponsored that one. That looks a little bit more in focus. Let's see, who is this? Oh, there you go. Duckham's. That was the sponsor. Duckham's Oil. Was it Duckham's QXR off the top of my head? I don't know if you can make that out. I'm trying to zoom in a bit on the camcorder. Uh, I believe it was something like Duckham's QXR. Was that the name of the oil? Engine oil, engine lubricants. And I believe that was one of the uh, Van Diemen team. Van Diemen are the company that actually constructs some of these Formula Ford 1600s. And they were based um, in an industrial state opposite Snetterton Motor Racing Track in uh, Norfolk, which I visited. I went into the factory, saw the cars being built. I can get a number on that one. Number, is that just number four? Or is there another number after that? Mm, possibly number four. Okay. So, and then, again, back then, a Formula Ford 1600 car cost you about, I think it was about £16,000 for a titchy little car like this. And oh, that's all blur, that's rubbish. So, about a £90,000 budget to do one year of racing. sixteen grand for the car. Not cheap. So that's why so few people do motor racing at the professional level. So few people can afford it. White car, very blurred, oh dear. And you can see, yeah, I remember it was thinking of people sunbathing in front of me. So this is them coming around Cops Corner, just out of Cops Corner, as you can see. And you see the loudspeakers there, so I remember we could hear the commentators all day really well, right in front of the speaker there. Uh, here we go, some of the yellow ones, and I believe the yellow ones with red writing, they were Pirelli Construction, 
were the sponsors of at least two of the cars in this championship. So you had Marlborough sponsorship, Duckham's, Pirelli construction. Um, and as it looks, it doesn't look like there's people up in those stands. So I don't know whether they were closed that day. It looks like it, doesn't it? I don't think there are people up there. So perhaps the stands were closed. And this is before they put a roof on it. Do you remember? Now if you go to the British Grand Prix, there's roof over all the stands that go along the start finish straight there. So there's just a few more photos to show if you want to look. Again, the Formula Ford 1600s coming around cops. I don't remember any big crashes that day. As I said in the previous video, Formula 3 car spun and almost hit the barrier right in front of me just as I just as I arrived at Cops Corner. Costas Lazarakis, a Greek Formula Drive Formula 3 driver did that. Oh okay, here's another brace I must have seen. Minis, that looks like the old style minis. I don't like minis. They're just not my cup of tea at all. So you can see people sitting in their chairs with their flasks and I'm not sure if that's not a wheelchair, that person. There you go, some people have better cameras than me. I didn't have an air camera or anything like that. I just had some little handheld 35mm camera that was, like I said, about 30 odd quid. Uh, these look like some kind of touring cars, a mixture of different types. Can't tell what those are, what are they? As in what type of car is that shape, I don't know. Don't know what that is. Car 21 there. Again, these are a bit blurred. More of these touring cars. So I saw a few different races on that day. And you can see there's a lot, there are a lot of people on the inside there of cops. That'll be the, the back of where the pits are. So you could walk around the pit area, I presume, that day. I didn't, I don't think. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to win any photographs for that. Any awards for that. Look at that, Jesus. Okay. Uh, where are we? That looks back to Formula Ford 1600, I think. That looks like the Duckham's car. Blurred. And you've got the Marshalls. And their flame proof overalls. They must have been stinking hot that day. Just a couple more pictures and we're done with this particular set. And there you go. Oh, that's Formula 3, I think, actually. Marlborough sponsorship on that. Again, don't smoke, people. It's an idiotic thing to do. And that's Formula Ford 1600. A couple of cars there. Right, and that's through that set. So that was Silverstone 1992, probably about May time. Formula Ford 1600, etc. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye.